Hi, my name is Karthik from Design School Vitability Algorithm. This video is a part of playlist called Dynamic Content Plugin for Elementor. It's a special plugin that you need to get. And this video is sponsored by the folks behind Dynamic Content Plugin. And the topic for today's video is PDF SVG Converter. Well, we all know that Dynamic Content Plugin lets you generate a PDF using the data field in the Elementor Pro form, right? I've already made a video on that. You can check out Dynamic Content Plugin playlist. Well, what if you could visually design the PDF using drag and drop, right? Well, that's the whole point behind this SVG converter. So believe me or not, this is a design I made using drag and drop and the data comes dynamically using tokens, right? We use square braces within which we use form, colon, and then the ID of the field that we need to fill, right? So you can design this whole thing was actually designed using dynamic content plugin and a free utility. So how do you do that? Well, you obviously have an Elementor Pro form extension here. It can be any form. It can be any complicated form. It can be a simple form. Click on actions after submit. You of course select PDF. And when you click on PDF and you get this option, only when you have dynamic content plugin, people keep asking me this question, why do I not see the PDF option? Well, you have to get dynamic content plugin. You can get it from the link in the description. Well, once you have the PDF option, once you select it in actions after submit, you can select as many as you want. I'll just select PDF and message for now, or you can simply remove the message for now. So once you select message, click on PDF. There are two kinds of converters, right? So the DOM PDF is the good old way of converting the form data into PDF. Well, you can design a template and do that. I've already explained that. Again, check out dynamic content plugin playlist on the channel. You'll get to know that. Now, I'll just click on SVG and the name can be anything. It can be any token, but to make it unique per user, I'm using this token, which is form colon name. Name is essentially the ID of the name field. So if you go to my form fields, we'll just click on the name field. If you click on advanced, the ID of the name field is name. You can put any ID there and the same token should be used. And for email, I'm having an ID of email. Well, you have to use the same tokens here, form colon email or form colon name, right? And I'm also using another token. You can go to the documentation to see the list of tokens available. I'm just using name token along with date just in case to make it unique, right? Or you can use name, email, any token that you want. I'm just settling with this and the folder where it should be stored. I just want to store it under Elementor PDF. You can obviously retrieve it using either the file browser in dynamic content plugin. We have already discussed that as well. So this path can be anything under WP content folder, right? I'm just keeping it simple. I'm just having Elementor and under which I'll have a folder called PDF. And under that folder, I'll have all my generated PDF stored, right? So that's cool. Now the next thing is SVG code. Well, what exactly is this SVG code and what should you do to design your PDF visually? Well, they just gave a link to a free editor. You can simply click on the link in their documentation. I'll leave links to everything in the description. Don't worry about that. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to this URL, which is editor.method.ac. It's a free online util. Well, all you have to do is simple. So we just want the form data and we're going to design it visually, right? So first type in your text. Just click the text tool and the text that we're going to enter is essentially a token. So the first token is name. You can also copy and paste it. That we can save some time. I'll just change the second token to email. We've discussed tokens. Again, you can, you can obviously change the color to black which makes it more readable or maybe any other color that you prefer. 
right it's all up to you it doesn't matter i'll just change it to your invoice i'll change the color to maybe this and i'll have another text or i'll copy paste this i'll say what you filled can click and freely drag it around you can also use these options on screen options to align it onto the center and so on there are tons of options well, you can make use of them as your wish you can choose x y length you can change it you can simply drag and drop it you can also change the values from here i'll just keep it simple so we have this fields right here so as you can see we have static text and we also have dynamic tokens so form colon name will get the data or the name whatever user fills form colon email will get the field email right so these are dynamic tokens we have already discussed this in the previous pdf converter video you can check that out i'll just spice it up a bit i'll add two shapes you can design it as you want and you can obviously pick the color for the rectangle i'll just put it behind it so i'll just click on object and we'll send it backwards just so that we can see the token data i'll have another shape maybe i'll pick another shape maybe a bubble like this Again, I'll do the same. I'll just click on object. I'll just click on send backward. I'll click and drag this email field down here. I'll change the color to white. Also this. Maybe I'll change the color of the rectangle itself. That makes it more readable. So this will be the design of the PDF generated, right? Cool. So how do you get the code for this? All we did was drag and drop and the text was essentially token entered just by using standard keyboard just click on view click on source and it gives you the svg required just copy the whole svg code now you just go to elementor make sure you select pdf click on svg name again you can use any token and the path can be anywhere just paste the svg code i'll just hit update I'll just click on preview changes and this is my preview page. Let's fill in a name. An email. And a message. I'll just click on send. Now the path I set for this file was this. Since I'm using local, I can go to that path and check it. You can obviously retrieve it or you can use the file browser in dynamic content plugin. So under uploads, under Elementor, we just saved it as PDF, right? So this is the newly generated file. Just like that, you can see that in action. Now this PDF generated using the online tools is not always perfect. But you can just play with it and it's mostly accurate, right? Let's try that again. We'll put this code. Sometimes it gets it, sometimes it doesn't. All you have to do is to play with this. This is not perfect. Now they recommend using an add-on. Which is kind of geeky but i just prefer this method again i'll put the new code into this i'll just use another data and i'll just click on send again there's our pdf 
right we get the data within the tokens we also get the shapes but we're not getting that this thing right we're not getting it let's actually try give it another try maybe i'll change this to something else i'll also increase the text size Like I said, this is not perfect, but I'll bring it forward. We'll see how that will look like. Again, I'll get the new source. You can see the HTML or the SVG code for that. We'll cancel it. We'll see how that will look like. I'll reload this page again. Again, we'll check the PDF, right? This is the Khan PDF. There you have it. Now we also got the title. So you just need to play with it a bit. Maybe copy and paste will sometimes work. Sometimes it won't, right? It's always better to use the text tool again and again instead of copying and pasting these items. But you pretty much get the idea, right? All we did was drag all the things available on screen and we just designed our PDF in a, in now. There are endless possibilities and you can customize each and every one of them, right?